So I spend a ton of time in the mountains and mountain hunting, chasing, you know, sheep, goats, mountain caribou, whatever it might be up here in the Yukon. And one of the things that are really important to me is making sure that when it's that final moment and it's time to squeeze the trigger, that your gun is on and you have confidence in how you've taken care of it along the journey, often days and weeks of beating around in the mountains. And then it's finally time you get on that game animal and the process that I go through to make sure that my weapon is protected and is going to be there when I need it is the same every time. So first off, when I'm bush bashing, often when we leave a lake or we leave a certain area, there's miles of bush bashing to get up into the alpine or you know, you're going through creek drainages or whatnot. So it's about keeping dirt, keeping leaves, brush out of the barrel. So all I use is a bit of electrical tape, super simple. I carry yeah. electrical tape with me at all times. So before I shoot, obviously it's got tape on it. I don't need to worry about anything going down the barrel. And then after I take the shot, I re-tape it again, just to make sure on the way out, even on the way out, you're heavier and you're more prone to slips and falls and banging your rifle around and therefore making sure that the barrel's not gonna be stuffed in the dirt and the next time you forget and you go and fire that, obviously not good. So then the protection of some of the most important pieces, which are the optics and then your action. So I use this Air Armor Tech case. This one has been put through the mill even on this hunt, yesterday, coming off the mountain with a goat, I slipped and I fell onto my backpack, onto my side, and the scope cover, I felt that I was right on my back. The scope cover cushioned that fall, number one, and it completely protected my weapon. I can't even tell you how many times that has happened to me. You know, slip and fall on your gun, or put the pack down, and you got a heavy, heavy pack, and you just kind of flop it off yourself sometimes and you're tired, you're not gonna take as good of care. But if you have a case like this, it's just peace of mind. You don't need to worry about it at all. So it's easy. It just covers the two clips, covers the scope and covers the action. The neoprene case for me is more just to keep dirt out of the eyepieces. I don't believe that this offers, <laughs> it offers some protection, yes, but is it what you want in the mountain environment? Absolutely not. Because I've got this case, and often, like I said, I use scope covers. Uh, if I have scope covers on my optics, then uh, I don't need to worry about bringing that. The thing about a good scope is, if you spend the money, buy a good scope with quality coating, quality glass, a scope that's gonna be able to take a beating in the mountain environment. And this here one has been amazing for me. It doesn't really have to worry about taking a beating for the most part because of the, the uh, scope cover I carry, but you know, you take that cover off in the moment, you know, you're in the rocks and you're beating it around, trying to get on an animal. Often you can get dinged and that's why obviously the best optics you can afford is the way to go. And then it comes just to the action. You want your action to be covered you want it to be smooth, and in order for it to be smooth, it doesn't, you have to make sure that you keep the grit, the leaves, water out of it. And that's why I carry that scope cover. Because this is the most important piece. You can be physically fit, you can be in the right environment, you know, lots of game, but when it's go time, and often when we're mountain hunting in the Yukon or Alaska, or doesn't really matter where, but that animal of a lifetime is sitting in front of you. It doesn't make sense that you haven't went and did everything you could possibly do wow. to make sure that your weapon wow. is in the best condition that it can be when it's time to take the shot. So those are the biggest highlights for me. Keep the gun clean, keep it taped up, 
use protection, and then it, when it's go time, it'll be there for you because nobody's coming out heavy if you don't have your gun on.